What's up everybody? This is Jamie. Welcome to the vlog and I'm so excited to share this vlog to all of you because this is something new. It's not a game or things I never asked my sister, my brother or, or someone. But what I share with you in the vlog is my skincare routine. Yes, you heard it right. Skincare routine natin. And actually, it's been years now. And I had a check up. I still remember that time. Nasa Love and Purity Fest kami sa Mindanao. May nag-check sa amin. Yung chinek ako was parang hahawakan mo lang yung isang machine na yun. And then, madedetect na nila kung ano yung problem mo. I don't remember na yung name. Pero dun sa, yung result sa akin was, um, may allergic reaction ako to anything na may chemicals na nilalagay ko sa face ko and then even sa buho ko sa ulo ko. Sabi ko, kaya pala na nangangati ako doon sa product na nilalagay sa ulo ko, treatments, tapos sa face ko. Kasi ang face ko is may rashes. Actually, hindi nyo naman nakikita. Hindi nyo man nakikita pero may rashes talaga yung face ko. So, mabilis siya mag-dry, mabilis siya ma-irritate. And I need to apply something that is organic or all natural. And I'm just so, so, so happy that I finally found this product. Ano tong product na to? Good news, it's... Tada! Ayan. So it's all natural. And it's organic. It's whitening soap. Yung cleanser niya, yung toner niya, yung moisturizer niya ay lahat. Uh, is organic. So I'm so excited to share my skincare to all of you. So let's get started. So first things first, I will tie my hair para hindi matakpan ng ating buhok ang mga dadaanan ng fa facial wash. Wow. Okay. Before I go to the whitening soap, ayan, I usually This is an organic wipes also. Because, yun nga, um, meron tayong allergic reaction to anything that's not natural. So even yung maganda, de ba? Even yung wipes na nilalagay natin sa face natin is organic. There. And then, what I do is, I use this. First things first, you have to cleanse your face. At ito yung Hello Glow Whitening Soap. Yeah, it's 4-in-1. It's papaya extract. Kojic acid din siya. And then, my glutathione, of course. Pero ito, ito maganda rito. It's all, all, all na, na, na natural. So, usually pag gumagamit ako ng ibang kojic, yun nga, mahapde or nagdadry yung face ko talaga. And, basta parang hindi ko maintindihan yung feeling ko. Parang nasusunog. But, I tried this one suabe. Well, okay, so I'll be washing my face now. So, sa mga nagtatanong saan ako naguhugas, ayan, just for the sake of this vlog, dito ako sa dresser ko nag- sa vanity mirror ko nag, nag, naglininis. Ay nga pala, while doing this thing, while doing my skincare routine, I'll answer some questions, some adulting questions na tinanong ninyo on my IG stories and thank you to those people na, na talaga namang nagtanong. Ayan. So, mamaya-maya pagtuyo na ating ating mukha. So, usually, one minute ko tong ginagawa. And then, free massage and all that. Para ma-digest talaga wow. Ng ating whitening soap. Also, cleansing din siya. So, if you have makeup, it cleanses your face. Always remember kung saan nyo nilagay yung makeup para talaga na-wash. So now, what we're going to do is we're gonna wash, of course. 
af every after cleansing, kailangan may washing. Kaya nga cleansing eh. So, I'll wash it first. Look at the effect! Yan, so it's after the whitening, nag-bright agad yung face. So, what if you're doing this every day, every week? So, nga na talaga yung effect niya. Um, second uh, skincare ko is this. It's an apple peeling gel siya. Okay, and it's good for the face. Actually, uh, nabili ko to sa Korea. Nung bandang ano to, Myeongdong. Super talaga kasi, di ba? Sobrang funny tayo ng mga Korean products. And talagang pumunta ako dun. And isa sa mga target ko talaga is bumili ng products nila. At ito yung isa sa mga ni-recommend talaga sa akin nung sales lady. Peeling gel. Kaya pala sabi ko, ba't ganun? Wala silang mga pores. Wala silang mga dark spots. Yun pala, they are using the peeling gel. Ayan, so, ayan. So, ito lang yung peeling gel. So, literally, it will peel all dark spots. And, uh, lalo na yung dito ang part natin, no? Lalo na ako, super dark yung dito ko. Nandito. And then, dito sa baba. Ayan. Actually, sabi, di ba yung some of you, you're asking, eh, sa Korea mo nabili? Paano na mo nabibili yan? Actually, wala akong idea kung saan ko dati mabibili to. Pero alam nyo ba, guys, that Hello Glow will have their own peeling gel this coming June? And yes, sobrang saya ko kasi, finally, hindi ko na kailangan bumalik sa Korea para makahanap ulit itong peeling gel na to. Abang lang tayo kasi, yan, mag-release sila ng kanilang peeling gel and it's also um, from Korea and um, good news kasi, it's all natural. Alam nyo nung nalaman ko, super talaga, super saya ko. So, nakikita nyo ba na nagpipil? Ayan, nagpipil, di ba? So, lalo na dito ang part. So, uh, parang any part of your face na dark, yan, daan nyo. The mom's so happy! Yes, totoo. Promise talaga. Actually, I even asked them, do you have this kind of product? May peeling gel ba kayo? Kasi gusto ko na talaga nag 100% na mag-hello glow na talaga, even the peeling gel. And yes, it's coming to town. <laughs> And you know what? This product is the only rejuvenating set on Watson. SM department stores and Robis Robinson department stores, supermarkets. Shopwise, lahat. Grabe, no? It's the only rejuvenating set available in leading brands. I'm just so overwhelmed and happy na finally natagpaan ko tong Hello Glow na ito. So now I'll be washing my face after peeling it. So look at the face after... Your peeling gel. Actually, may dark spots talaga ako dito and I need to work on it. I am really intentional with the skincare talaga that I'm using. Okay. And the next is, after that, of course, you need to use the toner. Siyempre, since open yung pores natin, we need to clarify the, yun na nga, yung mga dark spots natin. Bukod sa peeling gel na yan. So, this one helps you restore, refine, and whiten. So, the target is to really whiten your face. Actually, alam nyo, I'll be honest with you, I've been using this for 6 months already. And, um, ang gana-gana ng result niya sa face ko. Hindi na siya nagda-dry, tapos malambot. And and then, nagulat kayo parang summer asking, ba't puti-puti ng mukha mo? Ayun. So, dahil yan, dito talaga. So, some use their, uh, ano yun yung mga bulak when, when they use their, their toner. But, since wala na akong bulak, and gusto ko rin na massage ang aking face, gagawin natin ay, yan. So, so, sabi ng asawa ko ay, when you use any product, okay, maganda daw na dapat pataas ang hagod para para hindi daw magsad ang face. Diba? So, ngayon, since, ayan na, and also, toner pala helps you close your pores, ha? Alright. And, so, habang, habang pinapatuyo natin yung ating toner, sasagot na muna tayo ng mga adulting questions from our IG friends. And yung question, okay, it's from Dana. Sabi niya, how to tell parents about their decision that is greatly affecting the family negatively? Oh my goodness. 
you know, I really understand this. Lalo na pag nasa position ka na parang feeling mo parang wala kang say or parang wala kang karapatan kasi anak ka lang yung feeling mo na ganun. But I fully believe that if you know that yung nasa puso mo and nasa isip mo is it is for the betterment of of the family, then I think you need to speak your voice. Yeah, I need to you need to speak up. But remember, you still have to know that your position as a child or as a daughter and when you talk about these issues or matters, syempre kailangan you do it politely with respect. We're na tayong tinatawag, di ba, na sandwich approach. You're saying good things first or positive things first and then the things to improve and then positive things again. It's like, my, you know what? I really appreciate you for doing this to the family but I think this is the thing that we, you need to get to ganyan, ganyan, ganyan and then end it with a good point also again. So, the rest of it, I feel loved and this and that and we love you. So, yun, there's power in open, sabi nga ng Bible, diba? open rebuke is better than secret love. So, when we become honest with our feelings and at the same time, alam mo naman na makakatunog ka sa family, kailangan mo sabihin ng maayos. And then, when you voice out, yun na nga, kailangan, syempre, kinoconstruct natin ng maayos yung words na sasabihin natin. So, alam mo yung sandwich approach talaga na yan is really, really helpful to me ah, kasi I've been using that almost years na in discipleship, pastoring, shepherding, mentoring, and super talaga, super duper helpful talaga than my mentoring or coaching life nang hindi ko ginagamit yung sandwich approach. Nakita ko talaga yung difference and effect nun sa tao. So, there, Dana. I hope it helps. Okay, so next routine will be this one. It's, okay, ta-da! Ayan. Right? So, this one is the whitening cream. Dito napapasok yung moisturizer natin. Actually, dalawa to. Okay, so basically, yung white, you will use it in the morning. And then yung night, you will use it in the evening. So, alam nyo na ko ano yung skincare ko tuwing umaga. So, pag tuyo na, ayan, tuyo na siya. So, ang gagawin natin is, we will gonna, gonna, gonna put the moisturizer. Alam mo, super bango, super nakaka-relax. This is dapat talaga... Ako talaga I suggest na yan, use your hands, of course, clean hands, make sure na malinis. Kasi nakatulong talaga siya na ma-relax ka, pwede mo massage yung face mo. Okay, so habang pinapatuyo ko ulit, so this is the effect. Okay, I'll be answering another adulting question from Kamsi. Sabi niya, paano po kayo nag-start ni Kuya John mag-budget for your family? Oh, grabe, adulting question talaga to. Okay, we started by, of course, talking about sino yung mas magaling siya or mas marunong siya when it comes to finances. And so, we compared and then napag-usapan namin na, ayun, itong tao na yon yung magbabudget at hawak ng pera kasi yun nga, mas magaling siya. Maganda naman sa partnership or sa marriage is may aamin talaga na, ay, hindi ko forte yung pera, pero forte kong kumita. Ayan, so, ibigay niya na dun sa mas magaling mag-budget or yung talagang kaya niyang i-control or, or to really make use of the money. So, when it comes to our relationship, ako. Ako yung nag-decide kaming dalawa without any hurt feelings na ako yung magbabudget. Meron din namang mga couples na yung lalaki yung nagbabudget kasi yun nga, nagpagkasunduan nila na mas magaling yung lalaki. So, it doesn't matter. Basta, you decide kung sino yung mas marunong at mas magaling magbudget. That. Ako kasi when how I do it is I learned from one of my ninangs. Ninangs pala. The principle of 10, 20, and then the 70. Yung 10%, 20%, and then yung 70%. Ano yun? Yung 10% is basically when you receive something, salary man yan, or anything na tanggap mo. Okay, of course, it comes from God. So the 10% should be separated agad-agad. Wala na question yun. At ibabalik natin kay Lord. So that's what we call the tithes. And then yung 
10% tung natanggap mo. So, for example, nakatanggap ako ng 1,000 for the day, itatabi ko na yung 100 and I'll give it to God. Okay, and then, not just the tithes, but of course, kasama yung offering. So, yung offering naman, depende sa kung ano yung talaga yung gusto ng heart mo ibigay. And then, the 20 principle is yung saving. So, pagka may natanggap ka, again, yung house the 20% of that income, so, tatabi mo na agad yun. Ang ginagawa ko is, tinatabi ko na talaga agad sa banko. Nag-decide kami na hindi lang isa yung bank namin. Well, conjugal na nga, so isa na yung, yung money namin, pero may isa pa kaming account na yung account na yun is hirap kaming mag-withdraw doon. So, meron kaming extra income na pumapasok, doon namin nilalagay yung lahat ng 20% na aming natatanggap. And then, the 70% is doon na yung spending. So, hindi pala 100% ang spending, hindi pala 120% yung spending, but it's 70%. So, yung 70% na yun is yung bills na, yung grocery na, and then, ano pa, lahat ng mga kailangan ni Josiah. So, yun. We just knew the principle of 10, 20, and then 70, and then, of course, we know the word investment. So, maganda rin na we learn to invest, kasi actually, yan din yung work in progress pa din kami, and kami talaga nag-decide din talaga kami na to really invest. So, yun. So, that's basically our budgeting. So there, um, and then next question is, sabi naman ni Carrie Death, ayan, how to stay motivated sa work, church, at pagbabasa ng Bible? Alam mo, it's a matter of really going back to your why every day, every single day. Kasi kung alam mo yung why mo, basically yung why mo will, will boil down to your purpose. What is your purpose? Why are you doing it? Para kanino ka bumabangon? Totoo yan eh. And if you know your why, sisipagin ka talaga. It will push you and it will fuel you to go through that day and even every day of your life. Minsan kasi, to be honest, totoo yan eh. Yung, you know, life is not a bed of roses. It's not a smooth sailing. And parati tayo makakaranas ng, alam mo na, yung mga discouragements. Your day won't go your way all the time. That's why you have to set your heart and your mind kung saan talaga nakafocus kos yung puso mo. Kasi madalas may mga storms, may mga waves, may mga discouragements, may mga problema talaga na dadaan along the way. But if you know your why, then it will sustain you. Ako yung why ko every day is really number one, it's God. Number two, it's my family. Number three, it's my ministry. So, you have to set your priorities first. Kailangan iset, mag-set ka muna ng priorities and then with that, hindi yung number yung five mo yung nanguna. You have to know yung number one mo sa heart mo. And basically, no Knowing your why will motivate you in doing things every day or in fulfilling your purpose and you know your task every day. Ayun, and the next question, si Catherine, sabi niya, what breaks your heart? Grabe, ano nga ba yung nakakasakit sa heart for? Okay, what breaks my heart is basically seeing the people that I love getting hurt. Makita ko lang si Josiah na may singaw, alam mo yun, parang sakit, parang ang hirap. And also seeing people getting a heartbreak to the people that, that they don't deserve. Yun, yun talaga yung nakakasakit sa puso ko. And what breaks my heart is not fulfilling the very purpose it got for my life. So, I think dun talaga ako nabubuhay. Yun. So, I just want everyone to be happy and fulfilled. That's why talaga every day I'm striving to do everything. So, basically that's the last part of the skincare. Okay, so ngayon, we'll be proceeding to another question. Okay, sabi ni Pring Pring Paano mo nalaman na tamang panahon ka na, yung tamang timing na ng panalangin mo? Nalaman ko that I am already at the right time was when, of course, graduate na ako ng college. But hindi lang yun eh. I know that in my heart that I am already healed from the past and I am no longer bitter to any person. I know that during that season, I am fulfilling the purpose of God for my life. Well, hindi pa naman ako umabot doon sa pinaka-exact goal because the Lord is our exact goal but masasabi mo that you are inside the parameter of the will of God. God himself gave me that desire in my heart. Hindi yung, ah oh Lord, gusto ko na. Hindi. 
alam mo yung siya talaga mismo yung nagbigay ng desire sa puso ko na it's time. It's time to enter. It's time and you're ready to enter into that new season or that relationship. So, you will just know in your heart, in your mind, and then people around you will confirm that season or that prayer of yours. Yun. So, and also, yung panalangin mo, yung prayer mo is nag-a-align na. No? Yung prayer mo aligned na dun sa situation. And then, yung mga taong bumapasok na sa buhay mo, align din dun sa panalangin mo. So, you will just know it. You will just know it. Malalaman mo na lang yun. Si Kailin, how to maintain good relationship with your parents? Be a simply as be a daughter and be a son. When you know your role as a son or daughter and you have this constant relationship with your parents, not just relationship but as well as transparency, pag honest ka, pag totoo ka, hindi yung huling makakaalam yung magulang mo. Iba huling makakaalam ng nangyayari sa buhay mo is yung parents mo. That's not the goal. But the goal is to be honest and be real and be friends with your parents with respect. So, yun. And then, alam mo, pin ang ganda-ganda din talaga lang na you have this common mission. You know, you're doing something na same with the purpose of glorifying God. So, with our family, okay, we're not just family but we're doing this common mission and that is to glorify God. And yun yung mas nagpapalakas. I think yun yung papalakas sa bawat pamilya. Another question from I'm Nicole. Sabi niya, how do you deal with fake friends? You know, to be honest, I encountered so many before. I have to be honest also na naging ganun din ako. Naging fake friend din ako. So, yun yun eh. What you sow, you were reaped. Kung ano tinanim mo, yun din naman yung aanihin mo. Pag nagtanim ka ng kabutihan, then babalik sa'yo ay kabutihan. If you are real or real friend, then yun din yung babalik sa'yo. When it comes to dealing with fake friends, I think you have to choose kung sino lang din talaga yung sasamahan mo at hindi mo sasamahan. Ako talaga, to be honest, when I decided really go straight line, kung gusto mo dun sa straight line, kailangan uliin mo rin yung mga makakasama mo that is aligned doon sa pupuntahan mo. And talagang sabi nga, diba, sobrang importante talaga ng set of friends. Sobrang importante talaga kung sino yung mga sasamahan mo. Kasi yun ka magiging. So, if you are encountering fake friends right now, again, yun nga, sandwich approach, you can appreciate and things to improve and then appreciate again. But then, if nagawa mo na yung part mo, wala talagang nangyayaring pagbabago, then I think you have to set a certain boundaries or limitations to this kind of friends. Remember na hindi lahat circle, hindi din lahat inner circle. Uh, yung iba pang crowd lang sila or yung iba pang circle lang sila pero hindi sila pang inner circle meaning hindi sila yung mga klase ng tao na papapasokin mo sa buhay mo and hindi sila yung mga taong hayaan mo na ma-influence ka. So you have to really be wise with choosing your friends and choosing your friends. So there guys, alam mo, this is the exact bare face that I have. I've been using Hello Glow for again 6 months at ito, yung mukha ko pag itsura ko pag walang makeup, di ba? That's, that's the beauty of going organic, using organic natural products. Kasi talagang it will really help your skin glow. So next question natin, si Jay naman, how to say no without hurting someone? Alam mo, to be honest, yun yung ano dun eh, hindi talaga din natin talaga may iwasan na hindi tayo makasakit. Pero hindi rin naman pwedeng hayaan lang natin na, o oh, di, tolerate na lang natin situation kahit na ayaw na natin because we are being on fair to that person. You know, eventually, if you say the truth, pag naging honest ka dun sa tao na yun, pwede makasakit tayo. But, always think na lang sa magandang idudulot or magandang resulta nung honesty mo. You know, I always say this, that your greatest no today might be your greatest yes in the future. I remember when I had my no dun sa uh, maniligaw ko before, I told him that, you know, you're such a great man of God. I appreciate you for being honest with your feelings. I appreciate you for pursuing me and all that. But I think this friendship won't end to what you are expecting. But you're a good man. You're a ma man of God. I appreciate you for that. And always remember Remember that my greatest no today might be your greatest yes in the future. And I believe that we are an inch to our God's best. So I pray for the best and I'm still here. Guru isang kaibigan, isang churchmate. Ayan, and excited all for you. Well, di natin may wasang makasakit. But we can at least help na malesen 
at least kaya ko paano malesan yung pain. Ay, na-appreciate pa rin niya ako. Ay, kahit no, at least nakita pa rin niya that I am a great man of God. So, at least natutulungan lang din natin na mas madaling makarecover yung tao na yun. So, just be honest and use right and real words. Ayun. So, next question. Other thing question, paano po mag-move on kung hindi naman kayo? Sabi ni Love, okay. Kahit super dali lang nung question, parang sobrang hirap pa din sagutin. First things first, kailangan gumising ka sa katotohanan. Kailangan ma-assess mo kung nasan ka ba talagang position sa buhay nung tao na yun. Yun nga eh, from the word itself, hindi naging kayo. So from that statement, that can be your motivation that it's really time to move on and move forward. Kasi you are not meant for each other. And remember every time that we are not meant for that person. And remember every time na we are not meant for that person, it means that we are meant for someone else. That's your greatest motivation that kahit hindi nag-work ito, at least, di ba, God is making a way for me to know my God's best. Moving on and moving forward is a decision. You just have to face it. You just have to be honest. And you have to look at yourself the way God sees you. Paano ka ba or gaano ka ba kamahal ni Lord? Paano ka ba tinitignan ni Lord? That you are precious in His, in his eyes. That you are His princess, His daughter. That's why, di ba, you don't decide deserve na ganun-ganun yung kalang ng isang tao. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be pursued. You deserve to be prayed for. Yun eh. Yun yung mahirap dun eh. Nag-move on ka, hindi naging kayo. So, move on na lang talaga. Hi, T. So, there. Okay. Sabi ni Chad, grabe to, nung bully ka po dati, umabot ba sa point na may pinaluhod ka or may napahalik ka sa paa mo? Hindi naman, wala namang ganun. Oo. Kasi kahit pa paano naman, um, yung grace pa din ni Lord, yung nag-prevail and kahit pa paano, di ba, meron ka pa rin onting kabaitan kahit ganun yung ginagawa mo before. Meron ka pa rin at the back of your mind, meron ka pa rin awa. So, wala namang, hindi naman umabot sa point na ganun yung nangyari. And I'm down to the last question. Si April, sabi niya, how did you make pigel of your kilig kay Kuya John nung nangliligaw pa lang siya. Umarte talaga ako ng wagas, friends. <laughs> Siguro din, na-practice ako dahil course ko ay communication arts for four years. Inaral ko yan. <laughs> Oo, talagang nag-inaral ko. <laughs> At pinigilan ko din talaga yung sarili ko. I remember nung may time na nag-group call, parang nag-video call kami with my mentees, dalawang mentee ko. Tapos nandiligtas parang sweet-sweet ni John. Tapos ako sa habang poker face ako, okay. Talaga. Pero yung kamay ko, kinukurot na yung disciple ko. Parang, okay. Okay talaga. Mm, sige, thanks. Ganun. Pero yung kamay ko, kinukurot na yung katabi ko. So, kaya pala, kaya pala magpigil ng kilig and for for a woman to, to just test muna. Maganda rin kahit pa paano ma-check natin, ma-test muna natin how sincere the man is and yun yung ginawa ko. For nine months, talagang pinigilan ko yung kilig, yung feelings ko. Alam mo ba, umabot sa point na kaya ko siyang tignan sa mata, sabihin ko, I don't like you. Tapos tatanungin niya ako, Jamie, mahal mo ba ako? Hindi kita mahal. Tapos makikita talaga niya sa mata ko na, okay, gaganan lang siya. Because nung nine months na yun, he would ask me every month. Lalo na nung mga bandang last months na, na parang six months na kami noon, last three months na lang, sagutin ko na siya. Nung mga bandang six months na tinatanong niya ako every month. Tapos mabibigyan niya ako ng bracelet, ng Quintas, tapos tatanungin niya ako, I wanna level up this courtship to you being my girlfriend. Will you be my girlfriend? Magno-know talaga ako, pero ang hirap ka. Magno-know ako. Tapos kaya mo sabihin sa kanya na no, hindi kita mahal. Pero, shocks, I love you so much. Ganun. So, yun. Umarte ka. Ayan, umarte ka. Kaya yun. Kasi, iba kasi parang, gumaganon agad, gumingiwi agad. Pwede, possible yun. Kasi para lang din matest natin yung lalaki, ba? And at least naman, para naman kahit pa paano, walang ma-challenge naman sila. And ito, girls, ayan, isa sa mga adulting uh, tips ko din, wag na wag kang aamin. Kung babae ka, wag na wag kang aamin sa lalaki na gusto mo siya. Hayaan mo siyang umamin or hintayin mo na yung guy na yun would just say, hi, I love you and I like you and this and that. And with that, kung uh, naniligaw siya sa'yo, aamin ka lang. Hindi yung maniligaw pala. Actually, gusto rin kita eh. Wow! Oh my gosh. Tip ko talaga. Powerful talaga to. Hayaan mo lang muna na manligaw siya. So, kahit gusto mo na siya, hayaan mo lang muna siya manligaw. Gusto mo na siya eh. Given na yun eh. Pero huwag mo nang pakita. Kasi ang target natin is kilalanin. At 
kung pag kinalala mo yung attitude or yung mood niya, kung malulunok mo yung attitude na yun, I think you're now ready to enter to that relationship or get married. So, kaya ako ginawa ko, hindi ko rin lang din muna pinakita kasi gusto ko maging sigurado na, okay, ito na ba yung pakakasalan ko at makakasama ko habang buhay? Check ko nga. So, yun. Aamin ka lang or sasabihin mo lang, I like you too or I love you too, pag sasagutin mo na. Manliyaw muna siya sa'yo. Tapos kung gusto mo na siyang sagutin, dun ka lang magsasabi na, I like you, I love you too. And yes, I am saying yes to a wonderful relationship and marriage with you. Yun yung tip ko talaga. Kasi maraming babae yung biglang umaamin na lang or what. Alam mo na, you just have to know your role and you're the woman. Pero, kung hindi mo lang din naman mapigilan, ayaan mo ligawan ka muna. Diba? Ang tingin, tiis lang, girl. Six months? Diba? One year? Or, ewan ko kung ilang months ang gusto mo. Tapos, sagutin mo na. Diba? Hindi, again, hindi yung umamin sa'yo, hindi pa nga official na niligaw, umamin ka na. So, ibig sabihin, hindi mo hinahayaan na kaya nga yung mga lalaki, they are hunters eh. May hinahunt sila. And we women, we are meant to be pursued. So, ibig sabihin, pag umamin ka sa lalaki, parang hindi mo hinayaan na ma-play niya yung role niya as a man. Let him pursue you, let him hunt you, let him pray for you. And if God says so na, okay, sagutin mo na, he's the right man, it's time that's the time you say yes all right so okay so there you have it i hope that you enjoy this vlog skincare slash answering adulting questions and there you have it so mga nagtatanong kung saan ko to nakuha saan ko to nabili basically just search on instagram hello glow official and sa facebook page nasa tiktok din sila shopee lazada and uh, they have this facebook pages and also this is the very first rejuvenating set available yan sa watson's sm department stores robinson department stores supermarkets and all that and wait there's more i'm so excited to announce that i'll be giving away hello glow natural white set. So, ito ang ating mechanic. So, make sure to follow, like, subscribe on all my social media platforms such as Facebook page, TikTok, Kumu, Twitter, Instagram. Ang username natin dyan is at Jamie Santiago Dash. And of course, so Facebook naman is Jamie Speaks. And then, of course, like all Hello Glow uh, Facebook pages and all social media pages. Lalo na sa Instagram nila, it's at Hello Glow Official. For the 50th person who will comment on my vlog on this post will be rewarded. So, kukontahin ko na lang kayo guys. See you on the comment section! Get yours. Let's have a glowing and healthy skin. So there you have it. Always remember that you're beautiful from the inside and out. You don't need to compare yourself to others. Kahit walang makeup, maganda ka. Alright? And I hope that this adulting questions help you. And kung meron ka pang suggestions, comment mo lang yan below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe ka na rin. And share mo na rin tong video na to para marami makaninig ng ating adulting questions. Para marami I'm getting matuto through this vlog, and of course, don't forget to enjoy, honor, and maximize your season. Let your skin glow through Hello Glow. Bye.